Hey, so I was working on my latest version of a field guide to particle physics where I'm describing a uh, strange particle, a specific strange particle, the lambda zero boson. Um, and I was particularly interested in its decays um, because one of the decay paths is to a proton and, and a negative pion, and another decay path is to a neutron and a neutral pion. And so I thought, okay, um, how, how do we get there? So I started sketching the whole thing out, and I realized that both pathways involves the decay of a strange quark. Um, and I ran into two questions. First, how does a strange quark decay into an up quark? Because, <laughs> you know, um, uh, the electroweak doublets for the quarks, right, is up and down and 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 charm with strange. And so the, what's what's the what's the path for for going from one to the other? And that's when I had to relearn all of my particle physics, which I guess is good. And it was a good exercise. So uh, the answer, of course, is a strange quark can decay into an up quark because of the Kabibo angle, the the CKM ma uh, mass mixing matrix. The mass eigenstates uh, of the quarks are not the same as their interaction eigenstates. So that's that's easy. A harder thing to explain was okay. So there's two decay processes and they're very imbalanced it's like 64 percent 63 percent something decays to to the charged uh particles the the proton and the pi minus and the rest almost like almost the rest 36 percent or so on goes to the neutron and and the neutral pion and so the question is well a why is that a difference and b um how does that second reaction go about right because how do you get from a strange quark to to a down quark um now of course i had to remind myself well could it be the z zero boson no never flavor changing neutral neutral currents are highly suppressed in general and specifically the z boson doesn't really um interact inelastically like that you can kind of boost uh your momentum or spin or whatever but it's not going to couple in that way the only way you can get from a strange quark to a down quark right is through loops loop corrections that is to say you got to have a w boson get spit out and get reabsorbed and in that process um, you're going to encounter um, lots of quantum mechanical effects, right? You're going to have lots of quarks running in that loop in particular, um, the charm quark, and, and that process is going to be um, suppressed by uh, the mass of the charm quark, which is like three giga electron volts, billions of, uh, of electron volts, which is much higher than the mass scales, <laughs> the energy scales that we're dealing with here when the lambda zero is only like, what, like 1.2? Uh, GEV or something like that. So it doesn't even doesn't even make any sense. It just would never happen. So how is it then that the lambda zero decays to to a neutron with with a pi zero? How does that process happen? And of course, there's no loops here. It's nothing special. It's just <clears throat> the W boson decays as it as it would normally do to um, uh, an anti up and a down, right? Like a pi minus. <laughs> but those quarks inside the pion get rearranged uh, in such a fashion that one that the down quark gets sucked into the nucleus. That's what spits out. Excuse me. The down quark gets sucked into the um, the baryon, and that's what goes off as a neutron. And then the anti up mixes up with the uh, the up quark, and that goes out as a neutral pion. So it's a it's a weird mixture. So it has nothing to do with loops. It's just a fun uh, nuclear mess. Anyway, so that was my morning thought for today. Good. Mm -hmm.